at the moment it seems like when eventually we do get back into church we won't be able to sing when we get there currently the best evidence suggests that singing aloud may increase the likelihood of spreading COVID-19 and so to keep us all safe we'll have to keep our masks on and our songs in our hearts. I find thinking about this hard because so much of the way in which I worship is tied up in song and whilst I know there are many many other ways to praise God I think I find it easiest to draw close and praise him by singing, by playing my guitar, by making a joyful noise and I think partly that's because that's just what I'm used to doing. And this is how it's been for hundreds of years, thousands of years. God's people have praised him in song. Today's psalm starts with part of an Old Testament blessing which has been turned into a song of praise. I'm not going to sing it today, at least in part because I don't know the tune. Now let me read it to you instead. This is Psalm 67. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine on us so that your ways may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. May the peoples praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy for you rule the peoples with equity and guide the nations of the earth. May the peoples praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. The land yields its harvest. God, our God, blesses us. May God bless us still so that all the ends of the earth will fear him. The thing is that though the psalmist tells us to sing, though many of us might feel like singing is the best way to praise God, it's definitely not the only way. It's just the way we're most familiar with. The things the psalmist says... The ways that the ways of God have been made known in all the earth, that God rules the nations justly, that he guides us, that he causes the land to bring forth father. All the things the psalmist are, is praising God for in this song are still true even when we cannot sing. God is still worthy of worship and praise even when we feel like our ability to praise him is stifled. So today, I want you all to do something for me. I want you to think about other ways in which we can praise God together. Other ways that we can worship him without singing. Spend time praising him without singing. And today, I want you to do it. I want you to spend time worshipping God without song and let me know how it went. Let me know all the ways in which you love to praise God that do not include singing. And maybe we'll include some of them in our worship services when we do meet again. God is worthy of our praise. So let's worship him today. <laughs> 